May the divine light guide your path, bringing serenity to your soul, courage to face challenges, and wisdom to discern the blessings in each moment. May you be surrounded by love, joy, and abundant grace, as you navigate the journey of life with strength and gratitude. Message from Creation To the Lightworkers and All Souled Beings on Mother Earth Saturday the 4th of September, 2021 Creation I am who I am. I am the creator of all there is. I am above all there is. I shall speak today to all of the Lightworkers, as well as all souled ones on this most beautiful of planets I have created. When I created Mother Earth, I wanted to make the most beautiful planet of all, and populate it with humans. It was 4.5 billion years ago, only a few seconds of eternal time. Yes, it was the most beautiful of all. The humans placed on her at first lived many years, and there was no choice but to live the laws of God. There was little soul growth because there was no choice to do so. As Ashtar explained it so well, man was given a soul, a part of me. Later on he was given a free will choice to live as he wished. I put in each soul a spark of good and a spark of the dark. Then the fallen angel Lucifer and his band of fallen angels wanted to live on Mother Earth. He saw the beauty and gloated within to destroy her, as he had done to countless other planets. The only stipulation upon him, was that he would be confined to Mother Earth, as his jail planet. He was forbidden to destroy Earth. Now, each human had a spark of good and a spark of bad from which to choose. By choosing the good, the flame of creation within could grow into a mighty soul. The same is true of choosing the side of the Dark Brotherhood, or Lucifer and his fallen angels. I made it so that man would live his life stream in a physical body that would die, and he would return or reincarnate to another physical body, to continue on with soul growth. He had the choice to follow either a good or bad. He had to live without memory of who he was, and that is because he was living on a low frequency 3D planet. It would take many life streams to develop which he wanted to be. If he chose the path of light, his spark of good or his God spirit would grow and become a great flame for goodness and soul growth. Remember, each life stream he would start just where he left off in the last one. If, during his life stream, he chose the light, he would continue on that pathway. The same is true for the Dark Brotherhood's path. There is no in-between. During each life stream he would either be climbing up in light, or going down the ladder to evil. For thousands of civilizations, I have waited and watched the soul growth to find ones, who would grow greatly in soul growth by choosing the red road of light. Hardly anyone could be found. I sent the best of the best of my angelic ones to teach and show the way, but still so few listened. Lucifer, now called Satan, the ultimate of evil, adversary, and his fallen angels worked hard at tempting humans to choose his way. It was lined with the best things in life and, also, the degrading things that would turn the souled one completely to his wishes. Many souled ones kept choosing life stream after life stream the way of his ego. He became like Satan, wanting to be the controller, the great one who could be the god among gods and rule everyone and everything. He would partake in the most vile of actions to please his master, Satan, and had become evil. Mother Earth tried so hard to graduate from 3D to a higher dimension where no evil could exist. There were no souled ones, who had great soul growth enough to help her. Alas, she failed two times. Civilization after civilization passed but those, who chose the light were few and had not yet grown, to the point in their soul growth to realize their great God spirit power for good within. Alas! I finally had to do something. I chose to give the humans on earth a guide to great living, 
and to know and live the great laws of God and creation. I had spoken to the Dark Brotherhood, DBs, to come back to the light, and gave them 25 years until 2012 to do so. Did it happen? No. The time came and they had become more evil. However, the guidebooks, which you know as the Phoenix Journals were given to set the record straight. Did it work? Were there sold ones to listen? Yes. There were a very few out of the now dense human population that awoke from their slumber, to become great light workers. All was not lost. These sold became a flock of believers and realized the greatness of their God spirit within. However, those who chose the ways of evil, learned from Lucifer, Satan's ways to clone people to continue the growth of evil. Also, other species of humans came to live on earth that could change shape, shape shift, to look like a human to fool everyone. Many of these chose the Dark Brotherhood, as well. Planet Earth became very dark with evil, and her frequencies of evil disturbed the entire cosmos. I was overjoyed when those few light wickers found their true self, and had reached the point of soul growth to help Mother Earth and her people, and ask the help of the lighted realms. You remember all the times ones cried out to God to save Earth. Clean up this mess. We replied with a big no. You made the mess, you clean it up. We can help if you ask, but we will not do it for you. That is exactly what has happened. Thanks to the Lightworkers. Mother Earth has become a blue planet again, and cleanup is still in process. The Lightworkers must keep praying for the continued healing of all people, and of everything on Earth, including all the five elements, Earth, Fire, Water, Wind and Love. There is healing that must continue to be done and with your help, it can be completed. I am happy to note that the Satanian Empire has been uncreated. However, the minions have kept up with his wishes, even thought he, Satan, is no longer here. These ones are those souls that have slumbered not realized their great mission. They have created clones to help them in their evil endeavor. With the help of the Lightwickers, we have successfully given them great healing, and an invitation to wake up for the days are numbered. Many have, but there are ones who still have refused. The tiny babe of their soul is still precious to the lighted realms, and their cry to come home has been heard. All ones who have listened and still have refused to wake up, still have a chance to step into our accused beam of light, when the evacuation of Mother Earth graduates into fifth dimension. I wait for Mother Earth to graduate, and that time is still her choice. All indications are that it is very, very soon. My great thanks to all, who have helped with their prayers and petitions for Mother Earth and her people. Yes, Satan is gone but he taught his human minions well, and they act still as if he were here. So, keep up your prayers for healing of all, for that is the final cleansing needed. Blessings to all. Creation. Source, 4winds10.com. Editor's note, to all my listeners and viewers, please check out the description section of this video for the above source, reference links and further comments. From there you will also have access to the banned Phoenix journals by the US government along with the starting set of Phoenix journals as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation. Especially those of the true Christed life teachings of, Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda, is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, 
Even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light. During this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel. And as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.